So I have been working on a project to install a front camera on my uh, 2016 JKU and I think I've finally come up with a solution of sorts. So I mounted it here above the winch. And you can see it's not centered, where the, but the winch is not in the middle of the vehicle. The camera is in the middle of the vehicle and I made a mounting box out of some one and three quarter inch aluminum square tubing and uh, I have some caps that went over the end. I cut a hole in the front one that the uh, camera fits in and then there's another hole in the back or another cap in the back with a hole and a grommet and uh, this camera I got on Amazon online it's mounted uh, with a couple of small stove bolts here through the top and then bolted to the lip on the front of the uh, bumper. It's an aluminum bumper so it was pretty easy to drill. So the end result, I had wanted it to hook up to this tablet that I'm filming this on which is a 7 inch Samsung tablet but it uh, the Programming is not compatible with an older Samsung tablet, so on an iPhone it does work. So I have a uh, mount that goes in the top tray on the dash that holds my iPhone, and an iPad would work also, so when I upgrade this tablet to a 7-inch mini iPad, I probably will use it. So I can mount here from my overhead shelf, I have a 1-inch a ball ram mount up there that I can use and to turn the camera on and off I have uh, switches over here the top switch controls the uh, off-road lights and the uh, next switch down controls the camera to turn to wire it's a wireless camera but it does need a wire for power this switch is a spare and this is a charging port Two charging, two USB charging ports uh, to charge either a phone or a tablet. And going back around to the front, there was something else I was going to show you, but I already forgot. <laughs> anyway, this uh, aluminum tubing is one and three quarter inch, and that allows the inside diameter to be one and a half inch, which you need that much room to get the camera mounting in there. I had to shave down the mounting pad for it a little bit to get it to fit in there and I cut off about a two inch piece of that and then the caps are standard order from Amazon uh, what do they call them? A finishing plug one and three quarter inch and the little ribs on it. I had to file those down or sand those down with my grinder a little bit to get them get it to fit in easily but I think it has worked out to be a workable solution. The uh, lines on the camera on the view you can take those on or off. There's one, that's one of the settings on the camera. So those lines you see Basically, it's a reverse camera, but uh, you don't have to have those lines on, but they're pretty well aligned with where the tires are. My only change that I would make is possibly to move this down lower uh, to get a lower view of obstacles, but we'll be doing some trails pretty soon, and uh, we'll see what it looks like, if uh, how it works. It'd be nice sometimes when you don't have a spotter available to be able to see in front of the, the Jeep. So, anyway, I've been working on this for a while and I think I finally have the components and I will put links to that camera uh, on the, uh, on the post.